the previous video that we have, we, we answer this problem using the general form. Now, we will give another way of solving this, another approach wherein we will be using the idea of radius. Okay, let's start. So, if we consider, if we graph that given, if we graph the points A, B, and C, then you will have here the point negative 1, 2 as your A, 0, 5 as your B, and the point 2, 1 as your C. So, since we will be using the center and we have C, so then we will be confused C for the point and the C for the center. So, to, to avoid misconception, we will be changing the name of the letters. Anyway, th those letters are just arbitrary. We will be using here, say, P, Q, and R. Okay? So, these points are points in your circle. So, maybe we will have our center somewhere here. So, if we plot the, the circle, it will look like this one. It is now your circle. Your circle. Let's adjust. So, we will be looking for the equation of the circle by using the idea of radius. We all know that the radius is just equal to, if this is our, this is the y-axis. If that center is denoted by C, so it will have H, K. We don't know the center yet. So, we will be looking for the distance between P to C. So, that is just P to C is just the radius, right? Because point going to the center is a radius. Another point is here, 0, 5, that is Q. The point Q to the center is still equal to the radius as well as the point r to the center so how can we get those equations out of this we know that the distance formula is the distance between two points is the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. So, say for example, we consider the PC equal to QC. Let's solve first for PC. For PC, we have the square root of, so say for example, this is our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, you're, you will now have h as our x sub 2. Our x sub 1 is negative 1. So, you will have plus 1 squared. Your y sub 2 is k plus k minus your y sub 1 minus 2. Quantity squared. Well, in the other side, for qc, so this time let us consider that this is our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, you will now have square root of, so, x sub 2, h minus your x sub 1, which is 0, quantity squared. Then, plus your y sub 2, which is k, minus your y sub 1, which is 5, quantity squared. So, we can now take the square both sides. So, you will now have h plus 1 squared plus k minus 2 
squared equal to h squared plus k minus 5 squared. We can simplify it. Then you will have h squared plus 2h plus 1. If you simplify it, if you will have k squared minus 4k plus 4. While in the other side, you will have h squared plus k squared minus 10k plus 25. Okay. To continue, we will simplify it further. So if you transfer h squared to the other side, it will be negative. So it will be cancelled out. You can eliminate it will be equal to 0. If you transfer k squared, it will also be negative k squared. So it will be also cancelled out. For h, you will have 2h. While for k, it will be positive 10k minus 4. 4k so that will be plus 6k so we are done here for the constant it is 5 if you transfer that to the other side it will be negative 25 so it will be positive 5 minus negative and uh, minus 25 is minus 20 equal to 0 and we call this as equation number 1 then now we will consider the other case qc is equal to rc so q is 0 5 r is the point 2 1 and the center is the point h k h is a known k is a known so it is now the square root of say for example our center is h k so we set this as x sub 1 y sub 1 x sub 2 y sub 2 so if we if we will use the distance formula you have x sub 2 which is h minus 0 squared plus your y sub 2 which is k minus your y sub 1 which is 5 quantity squared while if you consider the RC, so it is now the square root of, so the same thing, you will set this, this time you will set this as x sub 1, this is y sub 1. Let us erase this. So you will now have h minus 2 quantity squared plus your k minus 1 quantity squared. The same thing a while ago, so you take the square both sides, so eliminate the square root, and you simplify, then it will give us h squared plus k squared minus 10k plus 25. Well, on the other side, you simplify it, it will have h squared minus 4h plus 4. While here, if you simplify, you will have k squared minus 2k plus 1 so obviously the h squared will be cancelled out the k squared will also be cancelled out this 2k will be transferred to the other side it will be positive so you will have negative 8k for the h it will be positive 4h it is positive 5 transferred to the other side so you will have positive 20 equal to 0 and we label it as equation number 2 now we have two equations having two unknowns so we will use the elimination so we must eliminate h here so we will multiply something to both sides of the equation. So it is now uh, 4h plus 12k minus 40 equal to 0. Copy the second equation. So you have 4h minus 8k plus 20 equal to 0. 
since they have the same sign, then you subtract. You subtract, H now will be eliminated. So 12 minus, minus 8, so it will be 20K. Negative 40 minus 20, so that is negative 60, equal to 0. So by here, we can solve for K, so your 20K is equal to positive 60 or your k if you divide both sides by 20 that is positive 3 so after solving for k we can solve for the value of h in finding the value of h we will use either the two either of the two equations so let us use the first equation we will be substituting the value of k to the first equation. So you will now have 2h plus 6. Your k is positive 3 minus 20 equal to 0. So now you have 2h plus 18 minus 20 equal to 0. So obviously you have 2h plus, uh, minus equal to 0. We transfer 2 to the other side. It will have 2h equal to positive 2. Divide both sides by 2 so your h is equal to 1. So we are done in finding our center. Our center is at the point 1, 3. So our problem now is to find the value of the radius so that we can give the equation the circle. Remember the PC in the previous equation is just equal to the square root of the quantity of H plus 1 squared plus K minus 2 squared. So we will now be using this in finding the R. Or you may also use the, the QC or the RC. Let us use the PC. So we will just since we have now the value of h and k, we will just substitute it here to solve for r. So you will have now, you will now have the square root of your h is one, so you have one plus one squared. Your k is three, so you have three minus two squared. It is now the square root of two squared, which is four. This is one squared is also 1, so plus 1 or just the square root of 5. Okay? Or, we can write r squared equal to 5. 5. So now we have the center and the radius. Remember in our previous video, we discussed about the giving of equation of the circle if you are provided with the center and the radius. So, remember the general form of the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared plus d x where d is the negative 2h plus ey where e is the negative 2k plus f equal to 0 where, the, where e in this f is the h squared plus k squared minus r squared so now finally the general the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared you multiply negative 2 to your h so that is also negative 2x you multiply 2 to your k so that is negative 6y h squared is 1 k squared is 9. The squared of your r is just 5. So minus r squared, so 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. And this answer is the same answer in our previous video. Okay? Watch for the next video because we will be tackling another kind of problem concerning about circle. Thank you.